Welcome back to Let's Play Toho Puppet Dance Performance. We're almost done here on Route 5, but we're going to start by right here at the start. It's actually a thing that I missed because I didn't want to go venturing too far into the tall grass. Also, there's a rice dumpling on this stump. And we're going to start by getting into a fight with Lily. Okay, so Lily is a void type. So I want to... Oh, Dark would destroy her. Well, let's start with seal... Start with some seal thread. As I said, you can use the seal thread at any point. You don't have to worry about them being at an appropriate level. Or not level, like health, whatever. You just have to use it, and then you just have to kill them. Which I can handily do. Okay, so there's an item up here. There it is. We got it. We got the Moria Shinsushu. No, I used way too many syllables in that. Now I can't remember. Was it just Shinsu? Su? Shu? Shinshu? I don't know. There are, in fact, six puppets that we can catch in this area. So I'm just gonna hoof it right on back, now that we got that item, to, um, Corindo. So I can heal up quite easily. And then we're gonna catch us some puppets! There should be... this should be a pretty decent area. It should be coming up on Tokiko. Yep, there's Tokiko. Is there any grass up here? I don't think there is. No, there's not. So I get to head down here. Good enough. Good as grass as any. Tokiko! Now, as much as I like Tokiko, um, Tokiko isn't, like, one of my super top favorites. So, instead, I'm going to... Normally, I'd put Tokiko... I'd grab Tokiko, pick it part of the team, but Tokiko is purely a wind type, and I already have Chen if I need wind for the time being. So, in the meantime, um, so you want to hit her with steel or electric. But Nether does normal damage, at least. So I'm thinking, not Nether, Dark does normal damage, at least. So I'm thinking this shouldn't kill her in one shot. Okay, no, it doesn't good. No, nope, nope, not what I want to do, not what I want to do. Use a seal thread, you idiot. Dang! There is a chance they fail. The higher level the puppet, the greater a chance that they fail. But at least it's immediate. And eventually, you'll need, like, stronger seal threads in order to... And this should do it. And we get us... God dang it, really? Up here. There we did it, we got a Tokigo. Wriggle! Good old Wriggle. Okay, so Wriggle is... Wriggle is Nature Dark? Poison Fighting... Oh, Fighting Old Wrecker. So let's go... Whoop, nope, not that option. Let's put the seal thread on. Dang it. I don't remember ever having this much problem with seal threads, especially this early on. 
Like, I'm pretty sure I didn't even get anything better than the regular seal thread for like three quarters of the friggin' game because they just worked. Rika! Okay, Rika is the rare encounter coming from the far-off lands of the PC-98 era. Um, but given that she's the rare encounter, she's not that rare. Uh, she's Steel Fire. Fighting will do double damage, so I'm going to just seal right now. That'll put a stop to that. Followed very quickly by Arumia. So Rumia, as we've all seen so far, is very strictly a dark type, and fighting will destroy her, so let's just use the seal thread right away. Mischa. Mischa's the last one for this area. That's right, there were six! I'm counting right correctly. Six, six, yes. And Mischa is sound dark, takes double damage to fighting. So let's just open this up with a seal thread. Dang it. It's not a good sign. Can I seal her? Kokoro is surprisingly good against the random encounters early on, strictly because everything seems to be weak to fighting. Okay, there we did it. That is all six in that area. Then we're going to rest up. And then we're going to move into the Forest of Magic. The Forest of Magic, of course, being a wonderful place where we can catch even more. Today's just going to be the day of catching all the puppets. Starting with Luna. So, let's see here. Luna is Light Wind. Do not want to use Fighting, but I could use Dark Steel or Illusion. I do not have any Illusions. Dark would be good. I guess it doesn't matter that much. We're going to start by just sealing her anyway. So let's just start with this. No, wait, no, 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 crap, Void does half damage. It's pretty good for half damage.
Okay, now we're looking good. I gotta buy more seal threads. And Luna is mine. Oh man, Chen and Diose. Angelica assistant. Oh, I don't like that at all. Crap. Fudge that noise. Energy absorb. Recover your HP by half of the damage inflicted. Power 75. SP 10. Okay. I see where we're going with this. I think I'll re... I think I will... Replace Reinforce Barrier. Now, if memory serves... Yeah, you can swap them around. Okay, so let's do that. And even, I like that it also shows the little icon in the upper left, so you can see what exactly it is, or where it's going to go when you're fighting. So I like Forest Therapy being in the upper left, because that's t typically where all of the support-ish moves go. Um, scatter beam, nice void type, nothing too fancy, and then we have our two nature ones down here, which is low power, high SP, high power, low SP. I like it. I gotta buy more crap. Just dive right back into that tall grass. Tackle one of them. It's sunny! So here you will find we do in fact run into the trio of fairy puppets. So Sunny is next. Sunny is light element. Uh, fighting does normal. If fighting does normal, then I'm going to hit you with it and we're going to see what happens. Yeah, I thought that. I expected it to do approximately that much damage. How rude. And now we got a Sunny. Okay, so that leaves us with Star! And those are the three. So Star is a light water. Fighting again does normal damage, so let's see how much that does. Pretty good, pretty good. That hurt a little. Dang it, I'm not gonna live through another one of these. Yep. Okay, we sealed. Gonna kill me? Is that what you're gonna do? Yep. What do I wanna do that'll just destroy you? Nature? Nature will destroy you. And you know what I just got? Power 75! He's 
that crap. Okay, well this has actually been going fairly well. Okay, 16, 16, let's... Get up there. There's... Alice. A puppet using puppets. That's weird. So Alice is the rare encounter out here at 10% even. Um, I think somebody was adding up the percentages that I mention. I'm rounding for the sake of time and laziness. And I don't know. But, but yeah, um, no, this one is actually 10% even with the other two being 30% each. Alice is Steel Light. So you want to hit her with Fighting or Earth. Or Fire. Or dark. Had a lot of weaknesses, as it turns out. But fighting does double damage, so I'm just going to seal her right from the start. Alice is alright. Dang. Alice is alright, though. Not my favorite. But she has her moments. God dang it! Stupid puppet. You and your other puppets. Cut that out. And there we are. Today has been a fruitful day of puppet catching, and I think I'm gonna leave it at that. So I'm gonna check out Renosuke's shop. I'm going to resupply myself. And then next time, we head into the Forest of Magic proper. Let's take a look at our puppet book. Got a book. It's got 20 dolls in it! Look at this! Got 20 of them! They're so tiny, I like that they have these tiny little sprites for them, each and every one. So nice. Oh, I think it's a little bit weird, looking at all of these, that you see, um... Where is she? Rika. That, like, just looking at it here, I go, like, Rika? Who the crap is Rika? And then you go, like, Oh, that Rika! Okay, man, without the tank, I didn't even recognize you. This cost is 90. I don't know what that means. But yeah, until next time, everyone.